Chandler Jave, distinguished guests. My name's David Phillips, and 10 years ago this month, I was preparing my brigade of over 3,500 military policemen to invade Iraq. And we went over there this spring 10 years ago. And it's been 10 years since the Mujahideen i Kok, PMOI, voluntarily disarmed, consolidated from across the country at Camp Ashraf, and we promised them protection. We even issued ID cards saying they were protected persons. I was pretty rough the first few months there because of the fact I was dealing with who my State Department sponsors representatives told me were terrorists. I would raid their individual billets at two in the morning, one in the afternoon, looking for weapons, torture, people held against their will. Never did I find any of it. I went back to my Department of State representatives in Baghdad and said, I need to allow the people to come and go freely from Ashraf, unescorted, because they're obviously, after vetting, they're not terrorists. They've done nothing wrong. But the State Department rep told me, leave it to the diplomats, you're only a soldier. Well, I returned numerous times over the past decade and spent more time in Iraq than I care to recall. But during 2007 and 2008, I was responsible for the rebuilding of the Iraqi police, and I convinced the people at Ashraf that my building an Iraqi police academy adjacent to Camp Ashraf would be no problem. Everything would be okay. We're promising their protection. Well, we know how that promise of protection went. That very academy, which I talked to the members of, the, of Camp Ashraf about, was used as a launching pad for two deadly attacks. And right now, while we have the United Nations sanctioning a concentration camp at Camp Liberty, and that's what it is, a concentration camp, and I challenge you, if you doubt my words, two questions. Ask to go see it. You'll be denied. Ask if the people can leave. No, they cannot. Well, my recommendation is to the Secretary General of the United Nations, fire Kobler, charge him, and put him on trial. And a lot of the speakers have mentioned, replace him with an impartial person. Well, the Secretary General doesn't have to look very far. He's got two of them sitting right here that have a great deal of time in Iraq, have worked with the members of the Mujahideen, and I was not their friend to start. I was not, I'm about as impartial as it comes now, because I was ready to use deadly force against them. On the other hand, now I am speaking out the truth, and I will go back over there, the Secretary General don't have to do a job search and you don't have to pay me and I won't live behind the walls of an embassy or UN compound. I'll live where you should be living, Martin Kobler, at liberty with the residents until they're all evacuated. Thank you.